Hi, my name is Martin Perhiniak. In this tutorial I'm going to show you the new paragraph and character styles panels in Adobe Photoshop CS6. As you can see I have a website design here in Photoshop and I would like to decide what character styles and paragraph styles to use. Because I'm not sure, I would like to change this really quickly. Maybe I will have my client next to me and I would like to choose the best option together. But you can imagine if I have several layers of text in Photoshop, it will be really time consuming to change them easily and quickly. In InDesign you can do this uh, really fast by using styles but in Photoshop previously you couldn't have done this so easily as now in Photoshop CS6 because now we have something very similar here as in InDesign called paragraph and character styles you can find them under the window menu so that's character styles and there's paragraph styles and we have some interesting new options for type as well. Well, first of all, I would like to show you how it works. So for the menu here on the top, I've already set the menu paragraph style. So there are five layers, the home, services, our team, news and con contact. These are all separate layers. It makes it easier to move them around. So for example, if I want to move services around, I can move it easily without using space or tabs. And that's why I prefer to use separate layers. But the problem with separate layers is that if I want to change the font or the, the color or the size, I always have to do it separately one by one. At least it was like that in the previous version. Uh, but now in Photoshop CS6, what I can do is to save this as a style. In this case, I saved it as a paragraph style. It's called Menu. And if I want to make any change, I just need to double click on the menu. And then here I can change all these options by one click. So, for example, if I select another font, just look at the menu in the background, it automatically changes. If I want to change the color, I can do that as well easily. I can even pick a color here from the background and then there you go. It will update on all the menu items in the background. If I want to go back again to the font that I had previously, it will again change all of them back to that uh, font. So now if I click on OK, you can see how, it e how easy it was to preview and change all these five uh, text layers at the same time. And the great thing is completely uh, non-destructive, so I can always come back and just work with the paragraph style instead of going through all these layers separately. Now, how to save a style it's really easy if you use the type tool and select font then all you need to do is to click on this new icon to so the new style icon here and then it will automatically generate or save all the options that you used and uh, save it into the style panel so here you can give a name I will give this name, let's say, title. That's like a main title on the main banner. And I can just simply click on OK. OK. If I want to save any changes to this, for example, if I select this and I change again the color to blue, for example, this little plus sign indicates that I made changes to this uh, style since I've saved it. So now I have two options. Either I redefine the style based on this new uh, blue text or I override the changes or clear the overrides and go back to its original state. So I can click on this and then it will set it back uh, to red or if I set it blue again I can click on this uh, tick and that will redefine the style. So it will use this from now on for the title paragraph style. So this is how you save it and this is how you work with them. But I would like to also show you another great feature. Here I have a text box prepared, but it's empty. I still want to show something there. So I want to simulate content, but I don't have the content itself yet from the client. 
So in these cases, usually we use placeholder text and it's a really easy option in InDesign, but in Photoshop and in Illustrator, you don't have that option. But now in Photoshop CS6, you can find that option under type and paste lorem ipsum. That will generate text, which will fill in the text box with this dummy text. But this is a great way to simulate how it's going to look like when there's going to be a text. So from this point on, it would be really easy to set up style for this heading as well. And then just simply fill in placeholder text in the other two areas. You can see how much time you can save with these simple features, so paragraph and character styles, and the lorem ipsum placeholder text. I hope you find this tutorial useful, and I hope you will join me next time as well, when I'm going to show you more Adobe Photoshop CS6 new features. Thanks a lot for your attention.